Welcome back to the channel real quick. I want to talk about uh, questions I get a lot on this 3.6 engine. Now, these questions are coming from my uh, Facebook page, a Facebook group, okay, uh, Pacifica. Uh, a bunch of Pacifica owners, they have concerns. I get these questions all the time. And I have people that are sitting on the fence waiting to buy a Pacifica, but they want assurance that most of the problems are gone from the previous minivans. Okay, with the 3.6 engine in it. And let me ease your mind a little bit, okay? The 3.6 found in the Pacifica, which was a 2017 and higher minivan, okay? Uh, that whole, that is considered generation three, which means that 3.6 engine has been through several changes. The valve train, the oil, none of those old problems out of the 2011 3.6 followed the 2017 Chrysler Pacifica, okay? I see these two Pacificas back here. They do not have the same problem as the older version minivan with the 3.6 engine. No valve train ticking noise. In fact, I, I work at a Chrysler dealership, Dodge dealership. I have yet, yet to go inside of one of these engines. Okay, does that make it bulletproof? Absolutely not. I'm sure a problem will arise, but as of now, we're in 2019 now, the end of 2019. Uh, the car came out in 2016, but started selling uh, in 2017, they, they sold some in 2016 also, but I have yet, that's two and a half years, I have yet to go inside, not a one. No valve train issue, not even oil leaks. Only thing I've done basically with the 3.6 found in the Pacifica is a recall. Now, recalls is a good thing, okay? They have your safety in mind, all right? So, <laughs> don't sleep on your recall. If you have a recall in that car, get it done as soon as possible. If you don't know if your car qualify a recall, just comment below. I will check it for you if you have no way to get it checked. But for the most part, most of all the 2017 models, uh, there's some form of a recall on that minivan. But I want to stay on topic here. Ease your mind. Yes, that 2017 Chrysler Pacifica with the 3.6 in it. They even have some now, a hybrid 3.6. Okay, that car that engine, uh, everything's upgraded. Everything's running smoothly. They got all the bugs out. I mean, it's a shame they had to use the 2011, which was the first model, uh, as a guinea pig. But you have to start somewhere, people. Uh, don't knock it. You really have to start. All car makers go through this. Their first year product of anything has to go through transitional period, learning period. Engineers back on it trying to find out what they did wrong the first time because <laughs> nobody's going to get it all right the first time. Okay, so what do you do in a situation like that is you correct yourself. Yes, the 2017 is, I'm not going to use the word perfect, uh, but there's no problems. I have yet to go into one. Matter of fact, I walk through the shop daily. I work daily at the shop. Uh, I have yet to see any other techs inside of one. Okay. Most of the thing we're doing is maintenance, brakes, uh, you know, coolant stuff, uh, recalls. That's the most, a few electrical nick picks and things like that, but no major engine problems. So if you're on the sideline waiting to buy a Chrysler Pacifica, Get off the sideline. Don't sit on the sideline waiting because I can assure you there's no major engine problem or transmission problem for that matter. Most of these vans are teamed up or tag teamed up with the nine speed uh, automatic transmission. All the bugs are out of that. Sure, there was some problems in that transmission in the beginning. Zero, not a flip. It's all been corrected and repaired. All right, so that's all I have, man. Thanks for watching. Come and subscribe. And if you're thinking about getting one of those Chrysler Pacifica, go for it. All right, thanks for watching.